Most people know it's important to get freckles or moles checked out by a doctor. But a small spot under your nail that could be just as dangerous as skin cancer. Doctors report on a potentially deadly form of nail cancer. This looks terrific malignant melanoma of the nail. Nail there was a brown line across fingernail. It may be a few years, just like you have moles on your skin, you can have a mole on your nail matrix. Nail began to change. It started as a light line, and then eventually started getting broader, and the middle of it started to get really black. This should identify early. Otherwise, we can't do much to save your life. If we are not vigilant, it will spread through blood and lymphatics to our body. You need to be vigilant. If you see something unusual under or around your nail, it could be an early melanoma. You should see a dermatologist as soon as possible. Toe and index finger are the most common nails to be affected. Benign longitudinal melanonesia is brown or black discoloration of a nail. It's due to activation of melanocyte in nail matrix, which is benign, no need of treatment. We have to differentiate this from cancer. Here are some of the warning signs at a stripe which favours nail cancer or melanoma compared to longitudinal melanonesia include if the stripe is very dark, if there are blurred borders, if there are changes in a stripe, like bleeding, rapid change in colour or colour variability, there can be nail loss as well. Hutchinson's sigh or pigmentation of cuticle is another sign of melanoma. Treatment depends on the stage of the cancer, ranging from removing the melanoma and tissue around or to amputation of the fingertip. It's important to identify it early to save your life. How do I know if I have a nail fungal infection? So, first up, what are fungal nail infections? The medical term for fungal nail infection is onychomycosis. They are really common and affect toenails more often than fingernails. People in their 60s get this as well as younger people. Who are more likely to get this include severely ill young adults due to various reasons. The infections are caused by three types of fungi, which are yeasts, mould, and dermatophytes or ringworm. Fungal nail infections fungi tend to attack nails that are already damaged. What do fungal nail infections look like? It's usually just one nail is affected, but sometimes it is several. It's usually painless. Fungal nail may look sick and will change colour to yellow or white. They can also look blue, purple or black as well. Sometimes the nail would start lifting from the skin. We call this onycholosis. Then after a while the nail will start to become soft and crumbly bits of the nail may fall off. The skin next to the nail may be inflamed, red or scaly. Subungual hyperkeratosis. Looking at the picture, you can actually see that is a scaling that goes underneath of the toenail and you may see it looks like it's raising. Next one is called distal and lateral onychomycosis. Now if we look at this photo here, you can see clearly, then you may have some streaks. They may be yellow in colour, they might be white in colour, in lateral edges of nail. You may notice that the tenderness in these sites. Now you might see some crumbling in the lateral corners. Proximal onychomycosis is another form of fungal nail infection. If we look at the picture here, in this you will see yellow white streaks in proximal part of nail. This type of onychomycosis presents with invasion under the proximal nail fold. It's common in immune-compromised patient like HIV. Superficial white onychomycosis. This type of nail fungal infection presents as white yellow streaks in nail plate. If you consult a dermatologist, your doctor will test it for fungal infections. Samples will be taken, nail clippings from the affected areas for cultures and direct visualisation under microscope before starting treatment. Now you're probably asking, why is that? It's done to make sure it is a fungal nail infection and not something else, like nail psoriasis, which can mimic fungal nails. There are lots of diseases which can mimic fungal nail infections. You can see the list down below. It can take up to three or four weeks with them to cultural results and give them back to you. We will be talking today about how you can actually get rid of nail fungal infection, as well as all the prevention things that you can do for prevention. Prevention is the key when it comes to trying to make sure your feet are nice and healthy and your nails stay nice and healthy. 
When a nail thickens, discolors, splits and lifts from the nail bed, it often indicates that the nail is infected by a fungus. Fungal nail infections are more common on the toenails than the fingernails. Fungal nail infections tend to run in families because of an inherited tendency. Not everyone is susceptible. To prevent nail fungus, dermatologists recommend the following precautions. Keep your toenails trimmed short. This helps prevent debris from building up under the nails and minimizes the risk of nail injuries. Cut the nails straight across to keep them strong and wear shoes that properly fit. They should never touch your toenails. That helps to prevent ingrown toenails. Choose breathable footwear. Fungus thrives in warm, moist areas, like in hot, sweaty shoes, making sure that the air goes through and out and change your footwear from time to time. Try not to wear the same shoes all the time. Wear sandals whenever possible. And if you have to wear socks, choose ones that wick moisture away from your skin. Use antifungal sprays or powders inside your shoes and on your socks before putting your shoes. Before a workout, avoid going barefoot in public facilities like pools and locker rooms, as the fungus that causes ringworm and other skin conditions may be on the floor. Even when taking a shower in a public place, it's important to wear shoes to avoid infection. Never wear someone else's shoes or share nail clippers and files. If you have an infection already, try not to use that same nipper or clip or scissors or whatever you want to call across. You have other nails too, because it's easy to spread the infection. If you have access to a steriliser and you can sterilise your product before using it, or do the healthy nails first, then come back to the fungal nail and sterilise it. If you go to a nail salon for a pedicure, make sure that staff are sanitising tools and thoroughly disinfecting foot baths before each use. Nail fungus is better prevented than treated. It's caught early. Nail fungus may clear with an over-the-counter antifungal cream, lotion, gel or lacquer. However, most fungal nail infections require prescription antifungal medication. Fungus can take up to a year to clear, so it's important to begin treatment as soon as it's diagnosed. It's important to get the right antifungal treatment, as moulds and yeasts may require different treatments. What are the best treatments for fungal nail infections? Thankfully, there are lots of treatments available. Drawback is time. Fingernail infections are usually quicker to cure than toenail infections. There are three main treatments. The first one is nail lacquers. A nail lacquer contains an antifungal medicine called 5% amarolfine. You can get this over the counter from most pharmacies. I recommend this if it is only affecting one or two nails. Otherwise, it's not likely to work. You have to use it for three to six months on fingernails and for up to a year on toenails. Amarolfine 5% medicated nail lacquer should not be applied on the skin around the nail. If this treatment has not helped after two months, talk about other options for treatment. You may need tablets, so the second option is antifungal tablets like itraconazole or terbinafine. These tend to work better than the nail lacquers but need to be taken for several months. They can interact with a few medications and cause issues on the liver for some people, so either these are available on prescription. You have to take oral antifungus six weeks to three months for fingernails and for three to six months for toenails. You should notice an improvement after one month of treatment. You can try 2% catoconazole cream, 2% myconazole cream or clotrimazole 1% cream. Follow the directions on the package. You have to use two to three times per day for four to six weeks. Is there any other natural products? My number one recommendation is apple cider vinegar. It is actually fantastic, will help to slow down the process of the fungal infection, also helps clear bacteria, and keeps in this a healthier, happier environment. How to use it? You can use apple cider vinegar mix in with a bit of water and doing a foot soak for up to 10 to 15 minutes, followed by a salt water soak. Repeat once or twice a week. The information how to do that is going in the description below. My number two recommendations are to use nature's antiseptic, tea tree oil, tea tree oil diluted in water and apply cotton the toenail daily. Apply it into the web spaces of your hands or toes. We hope these tips help you to get rid of fungal nail infections you've been suffering from. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.